So when I was in high school, I had to take a freshman English class. And um, my freshman English teachers taught Shakespeare and Edgar Allan Poe and all the people that you're supposed to take, supposed to take, right? All the classics, so to speak. But he also changed the curriculum to make sure that we were also reading Toni Morrison and Maya Angelou. He believed, not for my benefit, but for the benefit of all the students, that it was important to hear these other literary voices. Are y'all with me? Sometimes when we think about the work of diversity, we think, oh my goodness, I have a black girl in the class, better make some changes. I don't need for everybody to know who Maya Angelou is. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> diversity is important in the classroom, not because diversity is in your classroom, but because diversity is important in the classroom. Okay? So how might your curriculum change to reflect the diversity that is and has been America? That is and has been America because it is not your student's job to teach you and the classroom about race unless they is getting paid. So when you ask a question that has to do with race and all the kids look at the one black person in the classroom, I'm gonna need for you to say, everybody look at me. Hi, I'm the teacher, right? One, because it's not fair to put the burden of speaking for all people of color on a student. Two, that student is not getting paid to teach, you are. And three, understanding race, honestly, isn't that complicated. It ain't that complicated, friends. It is knowable and it is teachable if you want to understand it, if you think it's important for your classroom. It is knowable and it is teachable.